Let's talking about changing the theme colors on the master slide of Google Slides. Now, just like so many of the other videos in my master slide series, as a Google Slide user, you are aware that you can change colors of text, you can change colors of the background, you can change color of quite a few things on your Google Slide. But if you've selected a pre-built theme or you've imported a theme, you also have some master control over what your colors are. And you may not think that this is a big deal, but this can go a long way in keeping your Google Slide presentation activities very consistent in their look and their feel. Let's jump in and see what I mean. So right now I just have one Google Slide open. I can add any number of these particular slides from this theme to my presentation, including a blank slide to which you can add and create whatever you would like. But notice how the text color on a lot of these is an orange color. And then you see this teal color show up as an accent, as well as this limish yellowy color as well. You can also see some text boxes also appear to be a gray. Keep those things in mind as we move forward. Now, if I were to select this particular text box, which is actually a text placeholder because the, the text box is here, but these words aren't actually part of the presentation. So if I were to click in here, I could type in whatever I want. But I can change this color very easily. Select text color, and you can change whatever color you would want. But if you notice down here, here is a selection that they refer to as the theme colors. These are all the colors that are built into this particular theme. It helps with that consistent feeling. The same can be said if you wanted to fill this particular text box with a fill color, you also have your standard colors here on your palette, as well as these particular theme colors. These theme colors change based on the theme you have selected for your slides. But let's say you like the look of this, but you don't like this orange and teal combination. You don't have to individually select any of these items. You can actually change them as a whole. Go into Slide, Edit Master, and then here, again, I always like to make sure that I'm basing all of this on my master slide so that it will impact all of my slides. Keep in mind that gold box that will be around it if, you, if it is going to impact all of these slides. Now, in order to adjust this, do you see this palette up here that says color? When I hover over it, it says theme colors. Clicking on it brings up this sidebar and then you can see that my current theme is the Tropic. And then I can click on here and I get a drop down menu. Watch what happens when I select this first text and background one. It is this uh, very light teal color. I'm just going to select a random color that shows a, a, a drastic difference. Watch these little thumbnail slides over here to see where the impact is. I'm not noticing anything, so I might have to scroll through and notice I don't see a change at all. Let's move on to a different one. Let's pick this dark teal that I can connect quickly over here and up here. Let's see if that makes a change. That would be accent three. Let's say I want to change that to a bright red. Notice how it changed the color of these bars across here as well as out here because this slide is connected to this slide. It also changed this big box here. And when I scroll down, I notice it changed this half of the slide as well as this text box here. These must all be connected to accent three. Let's see if we can find this color and change it. It appears to be accent six. Let's change it to a blue. Sure enough. Now you might say, well, this orange, this text color right here, click on your, your boxes and find accent one, which is, it's either accent one or accent four. What if we want to change it to black? Sure enough. 
Now, really, the probably the number one area that I would recommend adjusting your theme color is this link. If you were to have a hyperlink over here on your slide somewhere, or you build it out over here on your little thumbnails as you build out your presentation, if you click on link, you can actually customize what color your hyperlinks appear to be. Depending on your audience, you may want to stick with a standard blue hyperlink color. But honestly, you can pick whatever color you would like. Have fun and enjoy. Enjoy picking out all of the accents that you would like. I'm also going to tuck a resource in the show notes to give you um, a way to help you build out good looking color combinations. Maybe you choose to change your theme to the blank style and you want to build it out on your own. I hope this is a tech tip that you can use.